Samantha Bacall from the Oregonian here. Um, this week I'm testing out another local product called Tribella. It's a, um, a wine aerator made by um, a local inventor. Um, it looks a little bit different than um, kind of like a regular pour spout, um, as in the name Tri. There are three um, kind of like straws that um, the wine comes out of, and on the other side this thin um, piece of metal goes into the bottle and there's three um, holes right here so you essentially just take the entire top and it comes in this really cute um, almost like an eyeglass case and it just fits right inside there and it's pretty small and compact um, but so you just take the entire thing and you pop it into the top of your wine um, and this bottle that I'm pouring or I'm about to pour right now is a 2011 Vietti um, Nebbiolo so something a little bit um, kind of tannic that really needs an aerator um, and the whole point of aeration really is to expose um, surface area wise wine to oxygen and essentially it softens or opens up the wine um, so before I uh, poured this bottle I tested um, this the Vietti Nebbiolo and also I did just for fun a um, a six dollar bottle of Bin 99 from Safeway I tested both of them straight out of the bottle um, and then I put them both in glasses and also tested them after they just sat in a glass for a while. Um, and then now I'm going to pour um, the Vietti into a glass and kind of see what the difference is and if um, the aerator actually works and kind of um, the qualities that, you know, the wine picks up that are, um, that you wouldn't necessarily get by just pouring it into a glass or um, from a decanter which um, I'll get to in just a minute. So it's actually really cool how this works. Um, it says it's drip free. And so I kind of just want to make sure that, especially if you're using a nice bottle of wine to kind of push it in there a little bit harder so you're not pouring. But once you pour, um, it's kind of like a three stream go in here. And then there's no drips, which is really cool. And there's actually, um, on the aerator, if you can see it, there's like a little notch right here, and this is so oxygen can flow in, and it'll, um, you know, flow without gurgling or, or, you know, getting too crazy. So it looks normal when it comes out of the glass, and though it's a little bit, you know, bubbly, obviously, because there's air in it, but, you know, even just the nose of it is so much different than when I poured it out of the bottle, and... I mean, the wine itself is already, you know, a really beautiful wine, but it's kind of cool to have um, kind of just pouring it out of the bottle without having to let it sit in an aerator or without having, or without, ha sorry, having it sit in a decanter. Um, and for those of you who might not know what a decanter is, um, if you've ever gone to a restaurant and you've seen those kind of glass, um, they look kind of like vases almost, but they're very slender and then the bottom is sort of a large... Um, I don't even know what to call it, kind of a, a large base and then it kind of sli um, thins up into just like a, a pour spout. And so normally you would pour a whole bottle into that um, and then you would kind of swirl it and that is supposed to, you know, expose the wine to oxygen and, um, you know, may open up the wine. But this is kind of just doing it from the bottle so you can just pour, you know, one glass or however many glasses you're pouring with this and, uh, you know, use that instead of, you know, pouring the whole bottle out and having to drink it. So overall, I, you know, I don't normally aerate my wine, um, but, you know, from this and the the Bin 99 bottle that I did before, that it really changes the difference in terms of the taste, and it actually kind of made the Bin 99 glass taste good. It's a perfect gadget for home use. Um, it's really easy to use, really easy to clean, and there's no drips if you're pouring, especially, you know, for a dinner and you've got tablecloths or anything. So something I definitely recommend, um, you know, for, for buying and using at home.